to my fika time. I am so excited to show you what I have made for my fika snack. This is called cinnamon crepe cake. I will put the recipe down below in my description. But as you can see, I have about 15 layers of crepes. And then in between the crepes, I have chai tea custard whipped cream uh, spread. I haven't tasted it. I'm gonna take a bite. But it just looks so yummy. It was such a time-consuming effort I spent. Ooh, probably at least half a day, solid half a day, to make this. And I was joking with my son that this is a typical quarantine dessert making. It's good. It's very rich. And because I steeped the tea for half an hour with three bags of teas, so it's very, um, you can taste the chai tea that I used. Um, it's very good. If you have lots of time, maybe it's the time to try a dessert like this. I recommend it. Today, I chose As the Deer. As the Deer was requested to cover and happened to be one of my favorites when I was in college. So I was very happy to do some homework and then do the video on As the Deer. The writer of As the Deer is Marty Nystrom. He was born in 1956 in Seattle, Washington. And he went to Oral Roberts University and graduated with a degree in music education. This is the story behind the well-known hymn. Marty Nystrom was a school teacher and uh, one summer, back in 1984, he decided to go to take some classes from Christian school. So he went to Christ for the Nations Institute just for summer and to just attend some courses. And there he roomed with this very vibrant Christian man. And uh, they, I think they inspired each other. And they decided to go on a fast. And about on the 19th day of the fasting, uh, Marty Nystrom sat at the piano and on the piano stand, the Bible just happened to be open, Psalm 42, which starts with, as the deer pants for the water, for my soul longeth after thee. So that was the Psalm that was open. And he just sat and start creating that music and with with the words and it's really the matter of minutes he wrote the complete as a dear song now he meant to keep it to himself uh, to use it for his devotional time between him and the lord um i think that's a beautiful thing i wish i wish i had that gift don't you just uh, create a song for the lord and then sing to him in your devotional time that's what he meant to do but here's a quote from marty nystrom he said i had no intention of showing the song to anyone it was to be for my own devotional time with the lord however before leaving the school to go back to seattle i did share it with one person he introduced it to the students of the school and it became a favorite so I am glad that he shared it with his friends so that we can now sing this beautiful song. And since then, this song has been translated to at least several languages. I have sung it in Japanese. And I am planning to sing it in Japanese at the end of this video. So let's dive into this song. First verse. As the deer panteth for the water, so my soul longeth after thee. You alone are my heart's desire, and I long to worship thee. You alone are my strength, my shield. To you alone may my spirit yield. You alone are my heart's desire, and I long to worship thee. Okay, from the beginning, I had this question in my head. Why deer? Uh, why not camel? Why not some desert animal going to the water? Or I don't know the background much of 
of the Psalm 42 that back in Israel and uh, so maybe that there's an environmental background and cultural background about deer um, but I just I was so curious so I did some homework and I just happened to learn three wonderful facts about deer going to the water. The first one, of course, the deer goes to the water because the deer is thirsty. And so deer goes to the water to get satisfaction out of drinking water to, to satisfy the thirst. And then the second reason why the deer may go to the water, uh, deer goes to the water to erase its a scent and so it's protecting itself from the predator uh, by erasing the scent and so there's the protection um, the river of water helps the protection of the deer and the third fact is that the deer goes to the water when a deer gets wounded uh, it goes to the water because the cool water will slow the blood flow so that the wound that the deer may have would coagulate faster. That shows the care and then the healing of the water. And I just thought that it was very, very interesting because accidentally or coincidentally or maybe providentially, this song talks about these three points. So first of all, as the deer pants for the water, so my soul longs after you. And you alone are my heart's desire. And so it talks about the heart's desire. Deer goes to the water to quench the thirst. We go to the Lord to quench the heart's desire. And the second point of that, to erase the scent and the protection. Um, you are alone. You alone are my strength and my shield. And talk, it sings about the Lord's protection. And that uh, the deer goes to the water for protection. We go to the Lord for protection and shield. And then the third point, um, to you alone may my spirit yield. We yield and we trust the Lord because we, we know God cares. We know God heals our wounds, the sin and the emotional wounds and all that we, we bear in the journey of this life. We can go to the Lord knowing that he cares for us, knowing that he heals for us. So I just thought that it was very interesting that these three facts of deer going to the water are sung in this song. Okay, second verse. You're my friend and you are my brother, even though you are a king. I love you more than any other, so much more than anything. So here we're singing to the Lord. So Lord, you are my friend and you are my brother, even though you are a king. And we can say that he is our friend because he himself called us his friends. John 15, 15. No longer do I call you servants, for the servant does not know what his master is doing, but I have called you friends. For all that I have heard from my father, I have made known to you. So how Jesus has taught everything to us in his word, and he's not hiding anything that he wants us to know in his word. And so in that sense, we are his friends. Uh, and also he is our brother. He, because of his um, perfect obedience to his father, which we will never ever accomplish in, in our own strength or in this life, he did it for us and and the curse and the wrath of God that we deserve to have, he took that upon himself on the cross. And so Jesus was God's perfect sacrifice to satisfy 
God's demand and God's wrath. And that now when God looks at us, he looks at through the perfect sacrifice and the righteousness of Christ. And now we are in not only declared justified, but also we are brought into the family of God and that God the Father treats us as his own and Jesus is our brother so Lord you are my friend and you are my brother even though you are a king and that's so such a brilliant part that how Jesus is the king he's the king but yet he's our friend and he's our brother and knowing that we just burst out saying, I love you more than any other, so much more than anything. Third verse, I want you more than gold or silver, only you can satisfy. You alone are the real joy giver and the apple of my eye. The third verse, I want you more than gold or silver, only you can satisfy. This is a testimony of a person, of a Christian who has tasted the living water, who is Christ, who can satisfy our soul. If we've never tasted that goodness, we cannot sing this. But the more and more we taste that satisfaction from him, we can sing this louder and louder. The apple of my eye, the idiom or the expression, is that to cherish something or someone above all things. And uh, the Bible has a few places talks about the apple of my eye or apple of his eye. And it's usually, it's God himself is regarding his people as the apple of his eye. For example, Deuteronomy 32, verse 9 and 10. But the Lord's portion is his people, Jacob, his allotted heritage. He found him in a desert land and in the howling waste of the wilderness. He encircled him. He cared for him. He kept him as the apple of his eye. Even though the song is talking about that we are singing, the Lord is the apple of our eyes. But when, when you actually step back and think about it, that it's amazing that God looks at us with favor and, and joy and love, much love. And that is so wonderful to know. Knowing that, I think our response will be, you are alone, are the real joy giver and the apple of my eye. The singing is a wonderful way to lift up our soul in gladness. Praise Him and and um, just preach into our souls in an artistic way. So again, this is a wonderful, wonderful hymn. Thank you so much for suggesting this. So I would like to end this video with singing both English and Japanese. Well, thank you for joining me today, and I'll see you next Sunday. Thank you.